this is Kara, and today I'm going to make an art journal page using the new Elizabeth Craft Design art journal set. And right here I'm using some pages that I cut out using the dies and I'm just going to stitch them together and then I'll make like a little mini book that I'm going to put within my other book. And here I'm showing you the die that I'm using. It cuts this really cute a little folder that you can then add a tag to. Super cute. And then from the Junk Journal Extras uh, die set, I'm going to use this one piece that has holes and it can actually like line up your pages so that you can stitch them. But I'm going to use it to actually line up my holes to stitch this little journal together. Now this would be really cute in a junk journal. You could use different papers, of course, and then just put this little book in a larger junk journal. But for this, I am stitching it up and then I'm gonna actually add it to my pocket journal that I got with my Elizabeth Craft Designs haul that I just did. So here you'll see I'm getting it all lined up. I'm gonna use my all pencil punch, <laughs> there's the word, some holes. And if you don't really need the, this little tool to line it up, it works just as well if you just want to punch five holes, six holes, just like you would finding a signature for a junk journal. And then I'm just going to stitch it up. And then after that, it'll be ready to do some decorating. This is why I don't usually record this part. I'm so bad when I stitch uh, journal signatures together. I don't stay in camera or in the frame. I have to stop and look and see where I'm at. So I kind of sped this part up so we can move on to the decorating, the getting messy part. And there I just am tying the knot in the middle, cutting off my string. And then I'm gonna make sure all the pages are all right. Super cute. So cute, I love it. It's so fun and the dies that have the fun edges are really fun too. All right, now it's ready to go. And here I'm showing the little journal and you can add the pages in. So I already made a little book for the beginning and then here is the second little booklet. Now you don't have to stitch them together, you could use uh, free pieces, right? You don't have to stitch it, but I did for my first one just for fun. And then I'm trying to decide which page to start with. I just think it's so cute. And so here we go. So I got some wax paper just so I wouldn't mess up the pages that are behind this first page. And I'm using some Distress Paint. This is new to me. I haven't had Distress Paint in the past. And uh, over the summer, I've been watching a lot of Tim Holtz's Saturday demos that he's been doing. And so I splurged and got some just a few they were on sale and I picked up a few of the distress paints just to kind of check it out and I added some with the dauber and then I decided I wanted to paint it out and then I used the stencil but I didn't like how that looked so I'm using some modeling paste to make it a little bit thicker and I'm gonna run that through the stencil and I like that a whole lot more I picked these colors because they're in the scrapbook paper that are that is in like the little cover that I made so I kind of picked similar colors here I'm just using the rest of the paint on the wax paper so I can use that later on in an art journal clean up my stencil put my stuff away and here I'm using the flowers from the, the new art journal uh, series and I'm showing you one of the stamps that says create and it has the definition it's really cute 
Now, one thing that I would recommend if you have Elizabeth Craft Designs uh, dies and you're going to use it in an art journal is to use double-sided tape and run that through your die cutting machine. I made a bunch of flowers and I forgot to use double-sided tape and it's fine. You can use it. It's just it gets really messy with the glue. Where here you'll see that I'm just peeling off the back and I can just stick it down and it makes for a really fun, fast journal page. So you get your little elements that you want from, you know, wherever, <laughs> double side it and then just stick them in and it just super, it's super cute, super cute. And I love these flowers. So I'm adding those to the page. And then I also die cut out uh, the letters that spell create. And so I'm going to add those again. I use double sided tape so they're really easy to add to the page. And then one more flower. And then I wanted the word create to kind of pop, so I'm using a Stabilo All pencil and then some. Um, a paintbrush with some water just to kind of outline those letters a little bit and then I decide to go ahead and paint some of the petals of the different flowers and leaves so I'm using the same colors that I used for the background I'm just kind of water coloring and I feel like that kind of helps it stand out a little bit I think I might, I'm on the fence about the dauber. I might need to do the flip top lids. We'll see. I'm not totally sure yet. And here I'm just gonna watercolor some of the fun sagey green color. And then I wanted to add some drips. So I'm wetting the paint down pretty well so it's um, able to run down the page because I felt like that corner was just missing a little something. So I did some drips. And then I'm going to use the all Stabilo all again and go around my edge to kind of have my border stand out a little bit. I'm adding some water to the pencil and then I go back with my paintbrush. And I just like how that kind of frames everything up. And that's about it for my page. Thanks so much for watching. I uh, hope you join me again for another art journal page. This was so fun. <laughs> All right, have a great crafty day. Bye-bye.